Hello everybody. I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, well, a card like this. I am going to be changing up for one. The number will change. This card here is from my son-in-law and he's 49 this year. And on the same day as his birthday is my sister's partner's birthday. And he'll be 69. So I'm going to make him the same card. But don't worry. Scott lives here in England and Brian lives in Ireland. So they won't know they've got the same card. <laughs> Unless they watch this channel. Alright, Brian also has a visual impairment. Um, he's partially sighted. So I am going to do his lettering a little bit different. I have done a few. And what I've done is cut out six of the letters and glued them all together and raised them up. That way he can read the letter with his finger when he reads the card. Um, that's the only thing I could think of doing. If I'd put the letters on dimensionals, the most probably would have, you know, not held because they would have been very thin. So and I thought I'm much more secure if I did made the letters really thick so they stood up. And then I'm going to stick these circles on dimensionals, the same as what I've done on this card. So that's what I'm going to do different. But other than that, everything will be the same. So to make this card, we are going to need a Knight and AV card base of five and three quarters by five and three quarters square. Two pieces of berry vanilla at five and five eighths by five and five eighths, and a piece of designer series paper at five and a half by five and a half. Let's just sit on like that. You'll also need nine. One and five eighths by one and five eighths inch squares, and nine one and a half by one and a half inch pattern square. Now I'm using uh, truly tailored paper. Yes, I've still got some, so I'm using that up. So you'll need nine very vanilla squares at one and five eighths by one and five eighths and nine squares of designer series paper at nine and a half by nine and a half. You'll also need nine of the smallest circle stitch framelits and nine of them. You'll also need the word birthday in small letters. These letters measure Three quarters of an inch by half an inch. These are retired stamping up letters. So um, that's glue on there. I'll have to get the glue rubber on that. So that's where I got these letters from. And you also obviously need your numbers. So again with the numbers I've cut out six and then added a silver one. Instead of gold, I've done silver. Um, I've still got the letter B to stick together and place on its circle. Oh, well, that's for the number. And I've still got a few of these to stick down. So let's do this while I think about it. Just leaving a nice little border on it. Putting the card together doesn't take long, it's cutting all the bits out. That take forever. So 
So that's all them on. Um, oh, letter B. Let's finish this off. Sit on top. That's nice one. And then this gets glued onto a circle. Right. Let that dry. And to this circle we should glue these numbers on, but first I'm going to clean them up because they're covered in glue. For me, lay the ass better. So we're going to put six and nine, and they will just fit on there. So we're going to glue that on. It's better. Right. Now we need to glue this to the very vanilla. Very straight. Start. Right, and then this goes on the card.
God, I don't know what's wrong with me tonight. I'll get that straight. We want to spread these evenly on here. Now what I did with the other one is the yellow line on the paper, the pattern on the paper, I had it going in opposite directions in, on each square. Not that you'll be able to see it when the circles are on. So, it'll be like that. So I'm going to stick this one down first. I'm going to stick it there. And then I'm going to stick this one down. one, leaving the same gap between oh. oh well, so much for me putting them all different ways, that didn't work out right, now I'm going to lay this one down This one. Then we just fill in the middle ones. And I'm going to put the middle one in first. And put this one in. So that's that bit done. All right, let's just put the lid on my glue because I don't need that now. Well, for now. All right, what we need is dimensionals on the back of all these.
have to do. Right, bit you want first. We place them as if you're reading, so it'll be B I R T H D A Y. I've got a while before um, Brian and Scott's birthday as it is only the 9th of April but my sister is actually um, coming over from Ireland tomorrow the 10th of April as we have a big family wedding on Friday the 12th of April so our niece is getting married on Friday. We've got a frock. Me in a dress. I haven't worn a dress for years. But I did find one. I liked. So. Happy with that. There, that I'm sure Brian will be able to read with his fingers because they do really stick out. Wish I knew how to do Braille, that would have been better. And we have our number, which will go in the middle here. Now I've got the word, or the letters TH, because it's 69th. And I'm not sticking them down, um, putting them on dimensionals. What I'm going to do is stick them between the circles. My sister can say they're there. Right, for the word happy, because on here I put a little tiny happy 49th birthday, I've got out the word, out of the stamp set, well said. And it's there. So I shall stamp 
a little happy. Might as well use the wet wipe I've got out. Right, chop this off. dimensionals on that I think. Oh yeah I did get big ones on there. And this we will stick. Nope it's too big so we need to cut it down just a little bit. the top it's better except that isn't straight Is the outside for the inside I didn't do nothing so I'm not going to do no I'm going to find something I don't know what I'm going to stamp on the inside but I'm not going to stick it down in case I do find something if I don't I'll just write something so there we have it my card for today so happy birthday Brian and happy birthday Scott. Well if you like it please give us a thumbs up. You can also share this video if you wish. Um, if you'd like to see more of my videos please subscribe and press the notification button as well and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.